dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. Primate Babatunde Ayodele of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church is obviously one of the prophets that has so many fulfilled prophecies to his credit. Thus, the government needs to pay for the attention to this great man of God since most of his prophecies get fulfilled. He recently prophesied the death of Malian opposition leader Somaila, Somaila Sise few days after he told Nollywood to pray against the death of a famous movie producer. The movie industry lost Chiko Ejiro. Ayodele listed out some things, some kings, and told them to pray against death. Unfortunately, the Olu of Wari that was one of those he listed died. He said that there will be increase in VAT in Nigeria and it happened. He also prophesied the fire outbreak in Abuja markets. The attack on churches by the BH jihadists. The cleric is sending a great warning to Lagos State and the government of other Southwest states because he said that terrorists have infiltrated the region. Speaking to newsmen recently in Lagos, as he released his prophecies for the year 2021 a few days ago, he said, Lagos State and other states in the southwest should be careful and pay great attention to security in the region because terrorists have infiltrated Lagos and other states in the west. There will be serious security challenges in the region next year. Nigeria is currently the third most terrorized nation in the world with the BH sect. Most of the attacks, he told Nigeria and the world at large to pray because 2021 will not be a palatable year economically. He warned Governor Obaseki to be very careful because his political enemies wants to disgrace him. He also warned Governor Aminu Tambuwal to be very, very careful if he truly wishes to realize his dreams to rule Nigeria. He said, Tambuwal has a very good chance, but he must work very hard to clear the impediments that I am seeing. Otherwise, he will not get it. He must seek God for him to be able to rule Nigeria. The cleric went ahead to correct a misleading publication concerning him. He said, I never said that someone will be kidnapped in the villa. I only stated that the villa will have security issues and that staff and that staff should be careful so that none of them will be kidnapped. Talking more about what to expect in 2021, the cleric said, I see drama in the Supreme Court. There will be leakage of some secret documents that will cause uproar in Nigeria. The Miyeti Allah is a terrorist group. If 
Buhari's government is supporting them, it means that they are supporting terrorism. The BH terrorists are being sponsored by emirs and politicians, and the days of Abubakar Shekau are numbered. He further said that President Buhari needs prayers because he does not have the capacity to move this nation forward because corruption will continue to envelope Buhari's government. Fraud will be discovered in NNPC, he said, and that the nation should pray against the death of a judge and CBN must pray against the death of a very prominent person. There will be there will be tanker, gas and pipeline explosions and climate conditions will generate a lot of problems. Some airlines will be consolidated, some will experience crisis. On the issue of the COVID-19, the cleric said that there will be complications on, on getting a thorough vaccine that will cure the sickness. He maintained that the sickness will kill more prominent people in Nigeria and in Africa. He said that the sickness has come to stay. Lastly, on the international scene, the cleric said Joe Biden will perform better than Donald Trump, but he will have health challenges. He further said that the Queen of England will be indisposed in the course of the year. United Nations will witness the death of some staff who are on the field. Boris Johnson will disagree with the European Union over certain issues and some countries will be agitating for their independence. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Do you agree with the prophecies of this Lagos popular prophet, Prof. Primate Ayodele? Well, it is what it is. He has spoken what he feels that is what he has been told to speak about. It remains to be seen if his prophecies will come to pass. A lot of tragedies, calamities, you know, fearful, shocking prophecies, revelations he has made. But so far, we trust in God and we hope that, you know, 2021 and the years after will continue to um, bring us good tidings, as it were. But however, what are your thoughts concerning this particular history and all that the man of God has said? Well, drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.